When Sansa and Theon escape from the clutches of Ramsay Bolton, they are immediately set upon and nearly recaptured by half a dozen Bolton soldiers, but Brienne and Podrick intervene. Once the soldiers are dead, Brienne once again offers her service to Sansa, who readily accepts this time. Brienne fulfills part of her pledge to Catelyn. Meanwhile, Catelyn's uncle Brynden, who fortuitously escaped the Red Wedding, manages to retake Riverrun from the phrase, drawing both Brienne and Jamie there for opposite purposes. When Jamie parleys with the Blackfish, the latter quips that he assumes Jamie is there to fulfill his vow to Catelyn but he doesn't see her daughters. When their meeting goes nowhere, Jamie discreetly meets with Brienne upon her arrival, he allows her to negotiate with the Blackfish so that Brynden and his men can leave the castle at night to travel to Winterfell. Before she leaves, she points out that if she is unsuccessful, then she will be compelled by honor to Catelyn to fight against Jamie. Jamie voices his hope that it doesn't come to that. Afterwards, Jamie pays a visit to the captive Edmure, and the two of them reminisce about Catelyn. Jamie mentions how she once hit him on the head with a rock when he was her prisoner, prompting Edmure to laugh. Though she undoubtedly hated him, Jamie claims he didn't hate Catelyn, even going so far as to say he actually admired her more than Eddard or Rob. Still, Jamie is ultimately successful in helping the Freys retake Riverrun, which culminates in the death of the Blackfish. However, Catelyn is finally avenged shortly afterward by her daughter Arya when she assassinates Walder Frey and his sons, Black Walder and Lothar. 